Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunity Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health, and coaching paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week, and we do that for your listening pleasure. we over 1,100 of these, and we continue to add on a regular basis, or at least we try to. We would love to be of value to you in that way if there's something we can do that adds value, please feel free to reach out. Also, if you're looking for life, business, relationship coaching, we'd love to be of value to you in that way and continue to be helpful and continue to be useful in a manner that, that leads you forward. Um, and so, if that's you, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to be of benefit to you in that manner and ultimately get you to a place that is uh, valuable get you to a place that's helpful and uh, ultimately lead you forward in a meaningful direction there. And so when we begin to um, understand how to do that, we then empower ourselves to have a better quality of life for a number of reasons. Would, uh, so this is 171 in that process. Your perspective matters. So making sure to have as many different perspectives as possible. What are the possibilities? Living a possibility-driven life. So what that means is it's possible that this good thing could happen. It's possible that this bad thing could happen. It's possible that I need to be more prepared in one way or another. It's possible that I could do this or that. When we look at possibility, when we look at the ability to be, to look at uh, uh, probabilities and sh things that could shift or ways that life could be made better or different manners of, of looking at the world we then make our life better by opening up because every possibility allows us to respond and react and be adaptable the more fixed a person is in how they view the world the harder it is for them to get to a place of of, of higher value the more the, the harder it is for them to get to a place of, of deeper deeper focus and so um, when we when we focus in on a very narrow pathway we take away the ability of our lives uh, to be flexible to be to be valuable and, and all of that and so there's challenges there uh, in, a, in a good um, in a good uh, approach there and so when you begin to ultimately um, make that the best way to, to move forward, um, it, it, it's then when we really begin to empower ourselves. Next thing there is mistakes. Viewing mistakes from a, from a healthy perspective. That is, there's growth there. There's value there. Uh, and so, um, you know, a lot of people try to avoid mistakes, but avoiding mistakes, you're not really going to grow. You're not really going to get, um, you're not really going to get to the next level. And, and without learning and, and failing and then being able to remain in motion of going forward in how you see the world and, and how you are open to the future, which is another aspect. Openness is super important. So openness just means the ability to look at life from a perspective of hey there are things that life can teach me that i don't know yet there are there is new potential that i can tap into there's new ways to see the world and if i am committed to the process of service if i am committed to the process of being of, of benefit to others if i am committed to the process of knowing how to get to a healthy space we then begin to um, be able to make the world a better place all of us have at least some culpability in making the world a better place and, and um, being a better version of ourselves consistently. And so service is part of that. When we serve others, we begin to understand the value that we have in the world around us. Oftentimes, many times people become, you know, driven by, by anger or driven by entitlement or driven by frustration that they are not getting where they want to be and, and ultimately uh, that actually shuts us down from being able to make the level of commitment and connection that we want to on an emotional level. Hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.